most of your students were, were women. Uh, no, you see, you said that. And, and I went back and started counting because I certainly don't have a bias one way or the other. And it was true of my undergraduates, at that, the graduate students, it was eight to five. But I think for the postdocs, the, the balance is slightly the other way. Um, it's. Um, uh, Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't. I think it was just a chancy sort of thing, whether they were male or female, and really and truly. Uh, of course, the the lead question is because s as bright women come into science, they look for role models, and in a way, almost whether you like it or not, you've been and become. A role model for you, women's science. But you see, I science? myself never looked for a female role model, and in fact, uh, when I was an undergraduate, since you're interested in my undergraduate years, when I was an undergraduate at Cambridge, the normal thing for me to have done as the person who was actually to direct me in psychology was the person at Newnham College who was, uh, you know, in the psychology department and so on. And there was a, a quite a distinguished woman scientist. I have nothing against her, but I had been really inspired in my very first. Uh, sort of lectures in psychology after I'd made the shift by Oliver Zangwill, who was, that's why I got interested in perception. And so I said, well, I want Oliver Zangwill as my supervisor. I don't want Miss So-and-so. Not because I dislike Miss So-and-so. And, -so. and, uh, and I've, never, uh, I've never had a female supervisor, actually, except in high school. Where my high school, you see, that's the other thing. It's so interesting. These thing, questions are actually interesting to me as you bring them up, because I went to an all-girls school, and it's a school that's done very well. Um, I think that that was good, uh, but I'm not sure whether it, it's a very debatable thing. Over here, everybody takes it for granted that you have you know, boys and girls together and so on. Um, I don't know the answer to that, but I, I'm not against an all-girls school. All right, let me tease you with this question, should the young women who are watching this interview, watching these clips, or the young women who sit in the audiences <laughs> as you give interviews, should they be looking f for female role models, or should they be uh, gender new indifferent? I think they should be gender indifferent. I think they should be looking for topics, trying to get excited about a field, you know. Now, Nowadays, it's, we're in a very tricky phase. I know this is another of the issues, but uh, neurosci neuroscience was not terribly popular when I was beginning my uh, studies. Uh, neuroscience now is over the top in being fashionable. And I mean over the top because it's a little exaggerated. Neuroscience is an absolutely wonderful field, but, but you know, the, the public's gone crazy about it. Uh, so it's not for everybody. Uh, I think what they should really be asking themselves is, what do I really want to work on? And as I, as I always say to students, and I say it, you know, <laughs> convocation addresses and things like that, uh, don't be afraid to change. I changed fields, but, but I've known friends who did. I know a friend who went from philosophy to physiology. Peter changed fields. Uh, it's good if you really discover that what you're doing isn't absorbing your interest and that something else sounds really exciting. Uh, that you didn't know about before, change. Uh, but what should be pulling you is the excitement of the field. Now, it's perfectly possible that you found an, a field exciting because it was introduced to you in an exciting way, as I found Professor Zangwill's lectures exciting. And in that case, you might say, well, this is a person that I might like to work with. This, and if it happens to be a woman, that's fine. But, but as, as I would say, it's the ideas that should get you excited. And then who is the person that's going to communicate those ideas to me best, motivate me? And it doesn't matter whether it's a man or a woman. It doesn't matter at all.